Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are going to be talking about Plate Up. I'm going to be giving this kind of a review, but I do want to make a couple caveats. First off, this game is in playtest right now. Uh, I got the opportunity to play the full game on stream. Um, so some of these things that I might say maybe is a negative or something of that nature could be fixed, are planned to be fixed, or many other things. But this game is pre-release right now. Uh, when they release it, you'll have the opportunity to do it. But let's go ahead and cover what is going on with Plate Up. First things first, what is Plate Up? Plate Up is a hectic single player and co-op restaurant management, cook and serve your dishes. Upgrade and cu customize your restaurants and expand your culinary kingdom with each procedurally generated location. Work together to cook food, deal with customers and serve drinks, or do it all yourself. Take on the roles of cook, waiter, maitre d', entertainer, and more as you and your friends create a restaurant of your dreams. Start from scratch each session and build your restaurant up with a variety of upgrades and unlocks, laying out your kitchen exactly how you want it, tailored to your customer's experience through your menu, decorations, and serving style, each with unique gameplay mechanics. Prepare and serve a variety of dishes including starters, mains, sides, desserts, and drinks. Get as many customers to the door as you can with a fast Fast paced fast food or make it a fancy gourmet four course dining experience. So with all that being said, let's talk about what there is in the game. Um, you are seeing gameplay behind as I talk about this. This is the gameplay from the stream that I had that I ran it over there. I probably am going to stream it again because I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of fun, especially the people I was playing with. It was a blast. Um, and if you have the right people with you, it is a lot of fun. Um, there are some pros and cons we're going to cover. But basically, the essence of the game is you get levels on your character. Every time you go and start a restaurant, you start the restaurant, go as far as you can. As you gain levels, you get different restaurant layouts and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Each time it's randomized, you can choose different options for the food you want to take on. You can do things where you can automate things, maybe not automate things. It's just a blast of a game and I highly recommend it. Um, it, it is a lot of fun. Um, but let's go ahead and cover the pros and the cons. So first, let's go ahead and hit up those pros. First off, replayability is definitely there with the randomization and how random things are and the different options that you have. You can play this game over and over and over and over and it doesn't get overly bored. Uh, you can have, you know, some things where you're playing by yourself maybe, but if you have the right group of people, I don't see any way that this game is not replayable over and over. As I said, though, also, it's got a great co-op. This is a lot of fun with multiple people. You can play it solo, but most of your goal when you're playing solo is to automate as much as possible versus with four people, you just go crazy and you have like a main cook, a sous chef, and, and just people running all over the place and it's hilariously fun. Um, it's simple yet complex is definitely one of those things. It's a simple game. You understand the premise, make food, give it to the people, right? It's a very simple concept, but there's so much more behind it. It's how you prep, when you prep, all the things you can do, where everyone's working, managing, cleaning up, and all the other things that occur when it comes to it. Um, it is quick and action-packed, so there's not... Um, it's not drawn out for no reason or anything like that. It's quick, it's done, you move on, you can play as long as you can, it's, it's a blast. And I highly recommend um, giving it a shot at least. There's also already Twitch integration. Now, this integration is very simple. It's simply that you can visit someone's restaurant and your name comes onto a, a, a person, and then they can give you the food. That's really it for the Twitch integration, which we will get to in a moment. I will talk about possible improvements, and one of those is something around Twitch integration. But I'm going to talk about possible improvements after the cons, which the cons really aren't that many. First is the multiplayer is a bit rough sometimes. Um, there's definitely some connectivity issues in there within the game and maintaining things and stuff. I don't know if that was internet issues or whatnot. Um, just as a premise, I'm running gigabyte internet. I host servers out of my house, uh, so I shouldn't have any internet issues, but I was definitely having issues connecting the people. So it could have been their end, but I'm just saying there were some connectivity issues, whether it was Steam or something else or within the game, that was definitely something that existed. Um, ease of access to the recipes was definitely something I would say. Um, it, it's There are sometimes where you need to be able to read the recipe and maybe having like a poster on the wall or something might help. Um, um, but simply put, like, you know, just trying to find the recipes and find them out in the middle of a service is very hard. Uh, so that's something I would definitely say is there. Um, there's a third tiny room that just adds a bunch of doors, um, which if you didn't know this, doors are an issue in the game. 
get caught in them, they get in the way, maybe they're opening and they push you out and all kinds of stuff, so it's hard to move quickly. Um, so doors are, are, are make sense, but this is probably why in most restaurants you see those double like um, uh, bar style doors where they pop open from both sides. This is probably one of those situations where that's probably something, and they've even mentioned it, and that's his impossible improvements, that this is something that they're probably thinking about doing, um, and they may just end up doing it anyhow because the doors do become a bit of an issue um, in accessing things and grabbing things and stuff like that. Um, but outside of that, it, there's a couple glitches where sometimes it's hard to access corner tables or, um, you know, and, and those kind of things, but they're very minor um, and, and they're not like game breaking. Uh, it's just, you realize, okay, oh, can't do that again. Like, you know, and you just don't do it, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's, it's very simple. Uh, some possible improvements I have for the devs here. Um, these are improvements that I think that they could make or something they could do around. We've talked about doors. I briefly spoke about that. Um, and then there is conversation that they're talking about this. Um, next is going to be more interactive Twitch integration. So you have a restaurant thing, you know, a couple things that I'm thinking is maybe if they were to introduce, hey, you can pick what menu item you want, what you want to do with it. Like, yeah, it could get a little spammy, but that's kind of half the fun, isn't it? Um, but it's not like you all jump in at once. Like it still keeps the same pace, but you can kind of order what you want and it gives them an opportunity to do that. Or maybe you can give, um, you can turn on a second form where like in seven days to die, you can maybe boost or, or harm the people like, hey, Hey, I'm going to make a mess and you can pay points out of their things or something like that. Yeah, there's a lot of coding that goes into it, but just some thoughts that I had out there that the Twitch integration would allow uh, more interacting with the viewer beyond just hitting exclamation mark visit the first time they start the restaurant and you're good. Um, the next would definitely be... Um, and the next improvement I think of would be definitely something around maybe having like a creative mode. Um, the only reason I say that is I would love an opportunity to jump into creative mode and just really look at... Uh, what it can do and, and what things do because sometimes you have to buy them in a restaurant and then you get them and you're like, I regret buying that, right? Like there's just moments where you're just like, why did I buy that? That's a complete waste. Like just give me an opportunity. Like it doesn't need to be a full and creative mode where I can build a whole restaurant and it's running. I just want to be able to see what each thing does and mess around with it a little bit. And that's really what it comes down to. You know, maybe some rollers and work on some of that, um, you know, does A work to B and that kind of stuff instead of having to do it in a restaurant. Totally makes sense why they don't have it right now, but it'd be something kind of fun um, you know, just unlimited access to things if you wanted to and just an open space just to test out automation and, and things like that and just get the opportunity to do that. With all that being said, though, that's the pros, that's the cons, that's the possible improvements. The next step, of course, is going to be my thoughts on the game. As I said, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, part of it, I think, is the people I played with. Um, I think the game in itself is innately fun and co-op based, um, and it makes it very fun and interactive, and as long as you're having fun with the people you're playing with, it's a blast. Now, there are moments where you have to focus and lock in and really try to get stuff done because it gets a little hectic in there you got 40 things going on and you have to trust your teammates to cover some of the best for you but in general um, I definitely think it's a, a, a good game I think there's a lot of positives to it if the devs uh, continue to update and change some of the things that we've talked about maybe adding a little bit of extra integrations fixing the doors you know and continuing to add on to the game which it looks like they're going to they got workshop ready to go um, they're going to have missions and all kinds of fun stuff so I don't think this game is going to be something that just flops out of nowhere I'm happy that they're giving us the playtest opportunity. I plan on playing it some more myself. I'll probably go ahead um, and, and there's access to invite people. So if you want to come play, we can invite people into the playtest with us. We have access to the codes. But as I said, giving us playtest codes is really kind of cool that we have access to that. Uh, I will continue to play the game. Um, and I would suggest you go ahead and add it to your wish list. I'm not going to give it an official Lemur's Quarter rating yet. Um, now, I, if I did have to, I would definitely say add it to the wish list. You know, and I would buy it. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I think the price point should be because it's not fully developed yet. So we'll see where it's at. But it's definitely worth adding to the wish list and continuing to keep an eye on it um, to follow and possibly go ahead and grab when it comes out based on the price of it, of course, and your interest in the game. So overall, definitely give the game a thumbs up. I think it's a good game. I highly recommend adding it to wish list. Uh, I think there's some some progression that could be made, and there's going to be progression made. As we said, we already know about some of the incoming areas. Um, and, and as I said, I would like to have like a um, creative mode, but I think these things will get added over time, but highly recommended. 
definitely think you'll like it too. But that's really going to do it for this episode, guys. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit that bell for notification. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have anything you want to add, if you've played, played up, if you've played the demo, all kinds of things, go ahead and leave it down in the description down below. But as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.